The capital city of the United States, Washington, D.C., is fittingly packed with incredible things for you to see and do. Aside from being home to the government's legislative, executive, and judicial branches, it has dozens of world-class museums. At the same time, countless marble-clad monuments and memorials are situated along the National Mall. A federal district of its own, the vibrant metropolis lies along the east bank of the Potomac River, sandwiched between Virginia and Maryland. In this video, we explore the best tourist attractions in Washington, D.C. We've collected a list of the top Washington, D.C. attractions, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number 1, National Mall. Visitors to Washington, D.C. won't miss a stroll on the National Mall, a greenway that will take them past many of the capital's important sites. Located downtown, the National Mall stretches west from the U.S. Capitol Building to the Potomac River and east from the Jefferson Memorial to Constitution Avenue. Across the streets from the mall, but still considered part of it, are a variety of Smithsonian museums and the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. To the east, nearby attractions include memorials to Presidents Ulysses S. Grant and James Garfield and the Reflecting Pool. Number 2, White House. The White House serves many purposes. It is where the president works and lives with his family. It is also the symbol of the United States to the rest of the world. It is where the president officially meets with leaders of foreign nations and hosts them at state dinners. George Washington selected the site for the White House, the new nation's first president, but President John Adams was the first to live in it. The British burned it during the War of 1812 but later reconstructed it. Self-guided tours are available for visitors who plan. Number 3, United States Capitol. The United States Capitol is where Congress meets. Sessions of the Senate and House of Representatives are open to the public when the bodies are in session. Visitors need free passes which can be obtained from their members of Congress's office. At the same time, they can get passes to tour the Capitol building, as guided tours do not include visiting legislators. The Capitol was one of the first buildings the fledgling U.S. government constructed following the Revolutionary War. Number 4, Washington Monument. One of D.C.'s most distinctive and defining landmarks, the brilliantly bright white Washington Monument rises dramatically above the National Mall below. Towering 555 feet in height, the enormous obelisk commemorates the first President of the United States and his significant military achievements during the American Revolutionary War. The tallest monument column in the world makes for a dazzling sight as it looms above the reflecting pool and Lincoln Memorial. Besides taking photos of the majestic marble structure, you can also visit its lofty observation deck. Number 5, Washington National Cathedral. The U.S. government likes to separate church and state, so it doesn't have a formal national cathedral. Still, if it had one, 
it would have to be the Cathedral Church of St. Peter and St. Paul in the city and diocese of Washington, considered this nation's spiritual home. More commonly known as Washington National Cathedral, this neo-Gothic structure is the sixth largest cathedral in the world. Funerals for Presidents Eisenhower, Reagan, and Ford were held here. Worship services are free, but admission is charged to tour the rest of the cathedral. Number 6. The Lincoln Memorial The best loved of all Washington's memorials, the Lincoln Memorial stands at the far end of the mall, separated from the Washington Monument by the reflecting pool. At its center is a 19-foot marble statue of a seated and pensive President Abraham Lincoln surrounded by 36 columns, one for each state that existed at the time of Lincoln's death. This is the most famous work designed by noted sculptor Daniel Chester French. Jules Guerin painted the murals on the inside walls, showing important events in Lincoln's life. Number 7, National Air and Space Museum. Visitors don't have to be kids to be fascinated by the National Air and Space Museum. Part of the Smithsonian Institution, the National Air and Space Museum offers plenty of hands-on activities for kids ages 8 to 80. The museum is a treasure trove of America's air and space programs. Exhibits include everything from the 1903 Wright Flyer to the Apollo 11 moon landing expedition to exhibits on how scientists are exploring space today. Number 8. Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History Another of the biggest and best museums in not just D.C. and the States, but the world is the excellent Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. Lying along the National Mall, its almost endless galleries are crammed with awe-inspiring artifacts, exhibits, and specimens that look at everything from ancient Egypt and Korean culture to dinosaurs, epidemics, and meteorites. A firm favorite with families, the massive museum is a delight to explore, with its collection now numbering 145 million items. Number 9, United States Botanic Garden. Right next to the majestic Capitol building is another very pleasant outdoor space for you to enjoy, the United States Botanic Garden. Lovingly landscaped, Gorgeous grounds and gleaming glass conservatory are a treat to stroll around with pretty plants, flowers, trees, and shrubs wherever you look. The country's oldest, continually operating botanic garden was first established in 1820 with exquisitely manicured lawns and colorful flower beds found next to lovely water features and fountains. At last in the list, number 10, Smithsonian's National Zoo. Boasting an incredible selection of exotic animals, birds, and reptiles, the superb Smithsonian's National Zoo can be found just 15 minutes drive north of downtown. Sprawled across a huge area, its spacious enclosures and exhibits are home to everything from orangutans and elephants to gorillas, giant pandas, and Komodo dragons. One of the oldest and most prestigious zoos in the States, it was founded in 1889 and is highly thought of for its excellent research and conservation work. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite tourist attractions in Washington, D.C. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.